While I was struggling to figure out my Instapot, the US Air Force and Ghost Robotics were collaborating on semi-autonomous robotic security in the form of a dog, RoboDogs. Now the 325th Security Forces Squadron at Tyndall Air Base in Panama City, Florida is the first to implement the robot dogs in patrolling. The squadron commander, Major Jordan Chris, and the CEO of Ghost Robotics, Jaron Parikh, have come to Pensacola to show what the robot dogs can do and meet the locals. So it's all gonna be semi-autonomous in that uh, it'll go out and patrol. Think base defense Roomba, right? It'll have its sweeping <laughs> routes and do its thing, but then once it detects something and we want to take it over, that's when we throw on the VR goggles and drive it. So that's where, if it was completely autonomous, it would just be operating on its own all the time. So that's where there's that blend of bringing the human being and the human defender part of that uh, equation when they're doing their operations. So if you, if you touch this robot, there's no hardware springs, it's all software springs. It measures the current control, 2,000 instructions per second per leg, and it's like a human or an animal. That was their uh, core thesis and invention at Penn. So that is not that is not a hard. Yeah, There's no hard springs. Every other legged robot or arm uses uh, what they call harmonic drives with hard springs, but this is using software springs, and it's just trying to stay stable, just like any other animal would if you pushed it. If you push your dog, he's always going to. Yeah, that's all it's doing. But that's a lot of function. That's 2,000. It's a massive amount of processing algorithmic control in those motor controllers. That's what took a decade was really that. The rest of this, this is known technology, right? You know, we're testing them up into like a couple feet of snow. Ice is difficult, uh, but uh, shifting rock is most challenging. So you talk about um, mountainous terrain where uh, the, the, the scree and the, um, um, the, the, the dirt, the substrate is loose. So even a human trying to climb up that is really difficult. In a couple months, all the legs are gonna be replaced with uh, toes that are made by Vibram, or Vibram, however you announce it. Well, if you look at under any boot, any mountaineering boot, ski mountaineering boot, any climbing boot in the world, rock climbing boots, five fingers, they're all made by that Italian company, Vibram. So it can do about 2.4 meters a second. You know, it's getting to roughly about seven and a half feet. Uh, it is gonna be able to move up to 10 feet a second um, in the near future. We have another customer that requires it. And so it's always customer driven. It's now climbing 35, 40 degree angles. We have toes that have crampons on it and you know, metal and plastic cleats. So I have personally watched it climb hill, like giant hills, very treacherous, uh, hilly terrain. I've seen videos of it uh, climbing through snow and navigating through ice that uh, Jiren sent me uh, with some of our other uh, uh, partners in the military and uh, other industry partners as well. So it's truly amazing to see all of the, uh, the different terrain it can take. And so it's, it has surround cameras. We're adding even more. And next, we're going to be adding thermal cameras. We're going to be adding audio sensors so they can hear and recognize things or if they're an anomaly. You know, we put all sorts of sensors on here. Uh, there are sensors now called vibrometers. We can just point it at a machine and we can see if the machine is out of calibration, uh, the, the bearing needs to be replaced. So now we can use uh, electromechanical sensors, optical sensors. We can use these electromechanical sensors to sense anything and measure against a certain calibration of what would be normal. Even sound. We can recognize from a sound whether maybe a motor is not running properly. And so these robots move around. They're just really, it's a computer with legs. And it gives you an opportunity to measure and find anomalies.